finishing that one. Feeling free to elevate on a blanket or a cushion. Please come to your easy pose. Transitioning to our yoga tummy. Taking a moment to arrive. If you would like to sit in the less usual way, notice the way that you automatically go into your seat. If you wanna gently challenge yourself by balancing that out by bringing your other foot in front. Have a moment to find that foundation and just let your hands rest on your legs so your spine feels easy. Soften, close your eyes, let go. The organ that's the body systems that's connected with the fall season is the skin. See so if you can relax your skin. So that's everywhere. It's around your eyes, it's all across your back, threads of your knees. Let's try to let the entire skin relax, be noticed. We bring our attention there. Our skin and then our sense organ of the season is the nose. Bring your awareness to your nose. Breathe there. Draw your next in-breath up the inside edges of your nose. Cross your septum. Out breath, out the wings of the nose. Let your nostrils flare a little bit. Feel them. Once more, inside edge, breathe in. Outside edge, breathe out. Refine your seat for a breathing practice if you are not quite settled or comfortable. Try to make it a little more stable. For you. I'm just doing an easy hand version, version of Navi Shodhana today. So just have your dominant hand and rest it at so you're touching your nose on both sides, your thumb on one side and your fingers on the other. Just feel your nose, close your eyes and just feel, touch gently that sensitive place, sensitive tissue. Close the left side gently and breathe in from the right side. Letting your body be pretty relaxed, your hand, other hand relaxed. Exhale, left side. Inhale, left side. Exhale, right. Your own exploration, right to left. So we don't want to force or strain, but explore. Second way, we breathe on the left side to start. Breathing balance, exhale right. Inhale right. If you need a little support for your spine, draw your navel in. Blow your breath, exhale left. Last one, inhale, left side, exhale, right. Take your time. Notice how it brings your attention, right, to that third eye space, the nose space. When that's complete release, bring back your hands. You may change your legs as you like for heart lift pose. Deep breath in through both sides. Fan out your fingers, spiral in outwards so your chest broadens. Exhale deeply. Inhale both sides of the nose. Exhale. 
establishing ujjayi pranayama, even waves of breath, and pull yourself back in. Side bending to the right, joyfully express side bend in your body. Do you want to spread your fingers or keep them together? Find a sweet spot. Settle your eyes downward. Observe where sensation is so you can take good care of yourself in practice. Still feeling a lot of sensation at the nose from the touch and the breath awareness. Four, one more breath to express yourself inside bend. It's hanging open. Release with some slowness to center fingertips down, tall spine, reach to the top of your skull. Side bending, second side. Refine as needed, and then hold steady. We lead our gaze towards our nose tip, which is a curious thing. Which, which side sees the nose? Which eye sees your nose when you ask? Following your nose to a downward gaze towards the floor. Fourth breath. Last one, slowly inhale. Exhale, start the release. So feel that strength of your low back help bring you back to center. Tall spine, breathe in. Exhale, twist to the right side, catch your knee, open your hand behind and look back by breaths. Opening your heart. Release tension around your spine. Deep rib cage breaths one more time. Follow exhale to center, stay tall. Last one over to the other side. Float out your arms. Open hand, look back twist. Just come hanging back a little bit with your torso to open across your chest. You might feel some stretch across your back as well. Just making sure you keep all the sensation at a healthy level today. Exhale one more time. Not holding back nor forcing. Release back to center. Make sure that you are comfortable and bring your dominant hand into Yana Mudra. That's the fingers, finger and thumb touching with the other three fingers. Upward, rest it into your heart center. Put your other hand behind a spot to settle. Close your eyes and visualize the color white. Picture a piece of paper, no lines. Picture a wall, picture a cloud. Picture white. Perhaps there are things we associate with the color. Earth and death. New beginnings and completion. Unity and peace. Allow white to clear your mind. And bring peace to your soul. Oh. And that exhale is complete. Release your hand. Transition back to quarter dog pose. Bring you back your legs. Tucking under your toes carefully from tabletop and sinking back towards your heels to any degree. Bring down your head, elbows up, hands spreading, five breaths, ground your forehead. Make sure you don't squish your nose here. Long spine, reach your hips towards your heels. Exhale one more time. Follow inhale up to tabletop. The arms pull in as we land in table. Arrange, refine if you need a little. 
preparation in your hands, wrists, give a moment for that. Bird dog pose. Nice straight spine, so reach to the top of your head. Take your right arm and your left leg away from each other, five breaths. It's okay if you wanna just work on the one or the other, like just the leg or just the arm. Gently challenging ourselves. Good everyday strength work. One more breath, reach and then lift. Exhale, come down. Inhale, second side, might as well go right in there. Trying to reach straight. Activate your glutes to lift your leg. A little plank work with your hand on the ground. Draw your navel towards your spine. Four and one more breath, inhale. Exhale, release. Bring down each limb. Make your way to downward facing dog. So we want our hands to fan outward, spread fingers. Press into them as you tuck under your toes. Press your hands, lift your knees. Bring down your head. Well, first one. Picture your favorite animal with a nice long spine, reach through their tail, bring down your head and your heart. Find a nice uplift in your low belly, and then bend one knee at a time, a few times, just let that flow side to side. Let your practice help you feel good in your body, working out tension. Coming into the somatic experience of observing our bodies and breath. Finish up your pedals, then bring both heels to the ground. Breathe one more time. Inhale out to plank pose. Don't change where you are. Exhale back to downward dog. Twice more. Use the uplift in your low belly to float forward and back. One more time, come forward, inhale, exhale. Step forward, halfway lift, breathe in again. Bend your knees, tip forward at your pelvis, fold in, exhale, tuck your chin. Stand up, arms wide. So it's nice to know before you start where you're going with your arms. Wide reach, sky, Follow your own exhale with your arms coming down right into the sides of your body so you feel open across your heart and across your back. Finding center for your shoulders. Surya Namaskar. Grateful for the sun. Inhale, heart center, hands, and sky. These breaths are very slow. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and forward, full, that's more than five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, something like that. Exhale, right leg back, left leg back. Bend your elbows a little bit. It's okay if your knees come down, five breaths. This is a partial chaturanga, learning to hug the elbows in. Exhale. Inhale, arms straight, knees down, release your toes, upward dog. Give yourself space. We want strong, straight arms, shoulders roll back as you bring your belly forward. Stop at any point. Add some tail tuck energy and a downward gaze. Breathe again. Release gently the table. Back to quarter dog or downward dog. Five breaths. A little perspective, looking back. One more exhale, try to press with your hands to bring weight to your feet. Then bend your knees deeply. Inhale, spring forward, step forward, half lift. 
Exhale, slowly fold in. Let's check in with your body at each place. Go the right amount. Wide arms stand up using legs. Process. Feel your feet relax. And then exhale, arms right into the sides, calming. Just observing if you tend to hold your shoulders front or back and find center. Three Namaskara A once again. Inhale, heart center and sky. Exhale, forward fold slowly, just the right amount for you. Land your hands somewhere, tuck your chin. Straighten your arms and spine, half lift. Bring down your hands, take your breath out, and then step your left leg right leg back. Come down to your tabletop pose, please. And so we're going to breathe in in cow spine where you lift your head a little bit forward. Exhale, drop your head and uplift your abdomen. In. Really hug your navel towards your spine. Twice more. Relax your belly a little bit. Come forward. Head down. Exhale, belly lifts way up. One more time. Extend gently. The low back stays pretty straight. And here it rounds deeply. Focus on the abdominal lift today. Back to cow once more. And Adho Svanasana, downward facing dog. Try to make friends. Find a place where you can work with your knees bent or straight. Our proportions are all different. When we're little tiny people, our arms like barely <laughs> come behind our head. Like our proportions are so different. Exhale, working with your own proportions. Let's try the deep knee bend again. So you spring load your legs with this position. And just let them straighten. Feel the power of your legs. You can try a couple times. And then use your legs to help launch you forward to half lift. Fold slowly forward, calming breath out. Wide arms rise and reach. Exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Keeping your hips to the front for Parsvottanasana, right leg, stepping back with an angled in heel. Find your center with your hands, your balance. Then roll your shoulders in. So thumbs roll down and back. Reach back as far as you can. Breathe in. Exhale, bring your hands together in some way. Hold on somewhere back there. Knuckle press, fingers, palms, or elbow holds. All fine. Don't, don't force, don't harm. Exhale slowly. Ahimsa, that attitude of compassion. Tuck your chin. Let your head hang down and lift your elbows a little bit. Let yourself concentrate deeply on balancing. One more breath. Complete your exhale, then rise up with inhale energy. Release your arms little circling as you release and spread out your feet from each other for warrior A. Coming into that lunge position, the front knee, grounded from your feet. Tailbone tucking a little bit, shoulders down. Inhale, arms up. Good, exhale, hands together, bend your elbows behind your skull. You can just nestle your head right back into your arms. Breathe five times. Creating these nice big open footprints into the earth. Strengthening and stretching your hips. Lift your back ribcage as well as the front. One more breath. Release your arms. Turn over to the side with wide parallel feet. 
Just follow your feet to the side. Keep your hands at your waist and come forward. It is fine to bend your knees to allow for that forward tilt. So prasarita B, where we lift the elbows again, this time with our fingers on the front points of the pelvis. And we're kind of pressing down and back with the hands and it creates length in our spines. What can you soften? One more exhale. If you need to bend your knees to stand up, do so. And return to the top of your mat for the second side. Parzottanasana, intense side stretching pose. Find the foundation. Always start with foundation. Roll the shoulders down and back. Inhale. Exhale. If you're holding onto your arms, do so the other way. Bring the hands together and maybe up your spine. Breathe in, long spine. Exhale, forward fold slowly. Plenty of time to find your way in. Gently lift your elbows and drop your chin. Breathe five times. Creating lots of stability around our hips with the open feet. Fourth one out, last breath. Inhale, press your feet, rise. Exhale, release your arms. Circle your wrists if it feels nice. And then work to warrior A. Keeping the pelvis forward, just see more space between our feet so the knee can bend out. Maybe some tail tuck energy. Listen to your body here. Feel your, long, your low back feels long. Rest your arms. And then palms together, elbows bent. Nose gaze. Exhale. Inhale, straighten your leg, release your arms. And again, turn to the side on your mat. This type goddess, so we turn out the toes a bit, come down the center line, bring your elbows and hands together and thumbs to your third eye. Five breaths. Try to find samas, evenness. Not letting your knees roll in, keep them right out towards the toes. Four and the last breath. Exhale, can you go a bit lower? Possibly inhale, squeeze your glutes, press your feet, rise. Open out to star pose. Spread your fingers, lift your heart. When you're ready to breathe out again, flow your arms down with your breath. Movement and breath together. And let's turn to triangle pose. Turning your left foot to the back of your mat. Angle your other heel out and inhale, stretch your arms wide. Remember to tone in Uddiyana Bandha, navel towards the spine in this pose as you come over and down. That supports your back. Land your hand and then reach up to the sky. You might need some tail tuck energy in this pose through your low back. Be mindful of your body, what it needs. So we create positive patterns. Fourth breath, inhale. Exhale, reinforce navel to spine. One more time. Inhale, open across your heart center. Exhale, belly center. Come up and change to the other side. Turn your eyes upward, breathe five times. Lengthen both sides of your waist. Four, breath out, last one. Inhale, rise. 
Keep your arms reaching, bend your knee, warrior B. Just go right into it, maybe a little more space between the feet, turn your head. Feeling some more strength. Exhale. Reverse warrior, it's okay, straighten your front knee in this one. Look at your back foot, lean and reach back. You can hook your arms behind in cow face if you would like. One more deep breath. Release that back bend and into forward bend, extended side angle pose. Last one on the sequence. Inside of the foot today, if you'd like to give it a go, Shoulder off the ear so your neck can be free. Two, navel towards the spine. Three, four, and just one more breath. Determination, inhalation, rise up and up. Second side, Virabhadrasana B with variations, reaching front and back to begin. Shoulders down, heart spreading. For one, feel the energy of your body as you practice. You're here to notice, to be present. Exhale into reverse warrior. Look at your back foot, lean back a bit. Connect your arms or just reach them towards each other if you would like. And a balance of steadiness and softness. One more exhale. Inhale, come up and out. Exhale again, extended side angle on the leg or down in the inside of the foot today. For one, two, this one remains challenging after years and years of practice in my experience. So it's okay to feel challenged. It's good, this counts as exercise. One more exhale. Inhale up and out, process. Make your way back to the front section of your mat. Possibly stepping to a wall for Shiva's twist. Standing balance where you can optionally lift. You can always keep your toes on the floor in this one. So we are just gonna bend out the right knee and either float it up or keep the toes down if you need. And so you can always refer down if you are losing your balance. Have a moment, try to find your balance. Steady eyes, open standing leg, lifting yourself tall, adding the arms, so Shiva's dancing arms into a twist. So twist towards your bent knee, let your fingers dance. You can bring your knee across the front of your body a little more for one, two, just keep trying if you come out and don't go easily out of the pose. Try to catch yourself. Last breath. See if you can release with some stillness or just some slowness, sorry side, lots of concentration. Ready? I can do this. I'm going to do my best. All of those things we can tell ourselves so that our cells get this message of kindness and compassion. Finding balance. Dance your arms. Add the rotation. So if I, you'll change your gaze and turn your head. Choose another spot. Inhale for three. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, last one. Inhale. Exhale, return to center. Pause a moment, feel. Coming to forward fold, so stepping back to the top section of your mat. 
So when, when moving from the pelvis in the form of folding, so know your body if you need to protect low back, your tightness there, your hamstrings are tight, bend your knees, guide your pelvis forward. Go slowly as you stretch the back of your body, you feel the back of your body. And then hold onto your ankles or somewhere on your lower legs. Maybe your legs straighten more. Elbows wide so your back is broad. Breathe into your back body. Two slow deep breaths. Arms are pulling you forward in this pose. Hands might be warmer than your ankles right now. Feel your skin today. Exhale. One more time, soft. Keep bending your knees so you can bring down your hands. And so your right leg back, left leg back, coming to your knees. Option here to fold your mat into a thickness or to spread a blanket across for a pose that is kneeling. So make sure you feel cushioned. Let's start with hat heart lift pose on the knees. Hands to sacrum, fingers down. Maybe your pinkies are together. Draw your elbows towards each other. Gaze down your nose. And press the tops of your feet into the earth. If it feels good to press your pelvis forward a little more, you can. One more breath. Return your pelvis to neutral and bring your hands down to tabletop. Parikasana variation, take your right leg straight out to the side, bringing your toes forward. If you need to, a moment to make space, you can always just like move over a little bit on your mat to make space for yourself. So what we're gonna do today is go back towards our heel, hips back and down. Slowly in and out of that a few times. Do you want to tuck under your toes if that makes you feel more stable? You can add that. It's like we're going back into child's pose, but with one leg out to the side. Twice more. Check in, find your range of motion. Release one more time. Holding for several breaths. One more exhale. Release with care. Second side. Toes tucked under behind you or not. And the other toes are facing forward. Exhale back. And out. Back. So we're lengthening the inner leg. Sinking back to any degree, releasing out, and let's go back for a hold for several breaths. Find a spot where it feels interesting, helpful. And one more time. Feel complete. Carefully release that knee back and rise up. Step your right leg forward. Maybe if you can do it without using your hands, but you might need your hands. Come to low lunge. King Arthur's pose. You're gonna bend, bring that back heel towards your hip. So it actually brings you above your knee. So just don't hurt yourself if you do if that's too much to lift up, that's okay. You can add the upper reach of the other arm. Five breaths. Nose gaze. Hello, front body. Last one. Release with care. Second side. Maybe using arms, maybe not to change sides. 
consider lifting that back heel towards your hip. Other arm straight up with some energy, downward gaze. Once more, oh, exhale to soften and release. Hanuman's pose, draw back your toes, fold forward. If you want to take your other leg back, you can work it back, use your arms. And five, coming out carefully from that, especially if you did a deeper version than usual, second side. This is, we call this Arda Hanumanasana, half Hanuman's pose. You would like to reach your front leg forward more and your back and back more. You may try that today. Non harming. Building up some strength in the arms if you do this variation. One more effort pull, possibly breath. Just draw your heel back towards you. Bend your knee and release your leg. The wide child pose, yin pose. So right now we're gonna start to chill. Coming to a comfortable wide knees for your body. Adding that thread and needle shape. Support yourself, find your own place of contentment for a hold. You might put a blanket behind your knees or under the fronts of your ankles. Come in and, and hold as you're ready and let go of your efforts. And go back to that, just creating that peacefulness in your mind with a a white image, something white. And do some snow visualization to help the weather cool off a little bit. Let yourself enjoy this process of softening. Move slowly over to the other side. If you need to release your legs for a moment, you could straighten out maybe a downward dog. Other side, getting needle, supporting yourself, using pillows, blankets as needed. Soft, soft. Do some belly breathing. Exhale again. Coming out with some slowness. Come out to your forearms. Tuck under your toes, lift your knees. Come to dolphin pose to release the fold of the legs. And create our forearm plank strength. For one. Two. Press your thighs towards the sky. One more exhale. Releasing to your belly. So you can do side to side on the balls of your feet to go back, down to plank, and down to your belly or through your knees. However, you get there is fine. Just transitioning from the forearms and coming to. Rest on your arms in front, bring your chin down. 
Bend your knees, lift your knees off the floor, press your feet to the sky, five breaths. Just open feet. This is like upside down bridge pose. One, two, three. Also gently stretches into the front pelvis or maybe not so gently. You might feel some stretching there. And one more time, press, lift, exhale, release. Bring your legs together. Reach back and leave your fingers. Inhale, draw your hands towards your feet. Lift your heart, gaze down. Shalambasana, locust pose. Exhale, relax, release. Turn your head right, take a deep, slow breath. Everything soft, shoulders roll down. Other side, turn your head, breathe very slowly one time. Stretch your breath to an eight or 10 count. And linger in your exhale. Coming out and as promised, come to our backs at this point in practice. So you might pause here for socks and clothing supports for rest and just come down into bridge foundation when you are ready so even if we stopped in your yoga pose for a minute and we do something else we can be mindful we can stay in the state connected present we have the the mat to help us give it give like a boundary if you're trying to stay here now. Lie down as you're ready. Bend your knees, bring your feet in. Refine your foundation. Make yourself comfortable. Find a nice center for your spine. Adjust your hair if you need to. Palms up for this first one. So we just were on our bellies, lifting our feet off the floor. So we are going to use the same muscles to press the feet and lift the hips off the floor. Strengthening the same places. Five breaths, lift it up. Adding a measure of softness. Doesn't have to be your biggest one. We'll do three today. Last breath, first one. Bring your spine slowly down. Let's build our core strength as we release slowly from the pose. Turn your hands over, palms down. Close your eyes for a moment. We're going to engage bandhas to learn how to use the subtle core. Exhale into your breath. Inhale deeply. This time, exhale, try to draw your pelvic floor in and up. Into the body. Draw your navel to your spine. They're connected to each other. And then hold that subtle connection as you come up to bridge. So we're learning to use our deep core muscles. It's okay if it just feels like an idea today. That's all right. The idea is where we start finding it in our bodies. Focus like a candle flame in and up into your body. Mula Bandha. Keep that tone in the pelvic floor and belly as you lower. And then relax, release. So here's where you might feel what you engaged when you ask it to let go. So everything. Large and small, relax, release. And one more time, repeat. Find this work, yes. If you would like to bring your hands by your ears, hug your elbows in. You don't have to lift up, but you can pretend, you can think about it. Lift your hips, Mula Bandha. 
Press your hands, hug your elbows in. One more breath, hips strong. Come on down. Release, knees to chest. Have a moment here to do what feels nice for you. If you want some happy baby or this is Apanasana. Downward energy, exhale pose. Breathe out once more. And for our, our legs up pose today, exploring snail pose, which is a yin pose. So it's like happy baby, perhaps bringing your hips up and your knees alongside your ears. Keep your head centered. Or if you wanted to stay with your hips down and happy baby, letting your legs be upside down is the idea. So snail pose, variations, make sure your neck is long around the back of your skull. Five slow breaths. Determined to breathe. Last one. Slowly bring your spine and hips down. Coming to two knees twist. Taking it yin style, staying for a while. Nice, nice and comfortable, perhaps some cushion between your knees. Find a place where it feels sweet in your body. Turn your head away and relax. Try not to disturb ourselves too much here for the rest of practice. Stay dropped in. If something happens, you're still right there. Like if there's a noise or a disruption, we chain ourselves to stay connected. Feel your skin. Air on your skin. Finish breath. Slowly go the other way. Customize for your own body and your own contentment. One of the practices of yoga is called santosha, and it means contentment with the way things are, helps us be accepting. Sometimes things are challenging, sometimes things are nice. Whatever it is, we try to just find our own peace in it. Knowing all is impermanent is helpful. Just one more time, move the breath slowly. Stay all the way through emptiness. And then come back to center. Finishing up with a little hip work here, centering. Keep your four pose. Starting with your left leg. And focusing on letting the leg relax away to begin with. Let the knee go away from your heart. Let it relax open. Hands and arms wherever they feel supportive and good. Observing your sense of touch, your own skin, what happens. Breathe out once more. And bring that knee towards your heart. You can use your hands to guide it. So in towards the center of your body, 
till you feel a more of a release along the back of your hip. And hold there. Customize it. Make sure your neck is long. Sometimes when we use our arms, our chin goes way up. So just lengthen. Forehead higher than chin. Explore that shape. One more breath. It's kind of like an upside down pigeon pose with that leg. And release. Second side. Meeting the side where it is, letting the knee rest away. So that creates a relaxation response in the front of the pelvis, or maybe if you have some tightness there, just try to soften. Sense of touch. Slow down your breathing. Second one. So instead of away, now the knee comes in towards the center, come towards your heart, or just the center line of the body to any degree. Stop where your body limits you, where there's enough muscular stretch or joint that stops you from moving further. Be very careful. Inhale for three, exhale, one more time. Actually, once more now, because I was not counting. And with care, release your leg and come out to Shavasana, resting pose. Taking time if you'd like to add support under your knees or your head. If you'd like to start today with a little Baddha Konasana in the legs, just to let that inner leg stretch out as you find your foundation. So that's the scan we do in every pose to make sure that we have good energy flow and our spine is nice and long. Gradually. Stop doing everything. Let your limbs release, open out, and without any effort. If your feet is squeezed, curl your toes in and relax your feet. Try with the hands as well, give them a squeeze. Feel how that activates. Feel your heart lift off the floor. Exhale, shoulders down. Just melt your arms into the earth. Last one, your face. Create a little squeeze. And release it when you're ready. Let those muscles feel soft. Let your nose relax. So the bridge of your nose feels broad. And everything releases. Take rest. Receive rest. The energy of your body, a light that surrounds you, that radiates from you. Keep releasing. Sometimes we have an emotional sense in this place and it's fine to just let yourself feel what you feel. Just allowing the stillness to be. 
place of healing, holding yourself. Where does the dance begin? Where does it end? Don't call this world adorable or useful. That's not it. It's frisky and a theater for more than fair winds. The eyelash of lightning is neither good nor evil. The struck tree burns like a pillar of gold. But the blue rain sinks straight to the white feet of the trees whose mouths open. Doesn't the wind turn in circles and bend the dance? Haven't the flowers moved slowly across Asia and Europe until at last now they shine in your own yard? Don't call this world an explanation or even an education. When the Sufi poet world, he was looking outward to the mountains so solidly there in a white cap ring? Or was he looking to the center of everything, the sea, the egg, the idea that was also there, beautiful as a thumb, curved at touching the finger tenderly, little love ring, as he whirled O jug of breath in the garden of dust. Changing only your breath, gently deepen it. Resting in the stillness between the waves. Follow the next impulse of inhale to begin to stir from your stillness more than just your ribs and lungs. Let your limbs and your skin, all of that be invited to stretch and release in your own way. Return to your seated position. There, bring your, your arms back, catching your wrists behind you. you come forward a little bit or a lot. Yoga Mudrasana. Sealing the practice. One more breath out. Inhale, rise. Peace, peace, peace. Good.
Thank you. Go slowly. Hygiene. Have some nourishment if it's time. Receive the nourishment of this yoga. It's part of you now. All that you practice today is part of you. But you made it, Francesca. Thanks for your notes.